All the big things start small. So it was with this little seed called Francis, planted by the hands of God in the garden of our time. Francis loved his father very much, a very rich merchant, but did not love his wealth, for he knew that there is no comparison among the treasures of this world and those of the heavens. A piece of bread, please. He followed in the footsteps of his father. Even in the bad actions. However, Francis was very kind and had a virtuous mother, Mrs. Pica, who was a pious and God-fearing woman. And in Francis's heart, God was sowing love for the poor. Thank you, son. He vowed he would always give something to those who ask for the love of God. <laughs> little by little, Francis gave in to the bad examples and customs of that age. But an event changed his life and our history. God spoke to him. Who can do the most for you? The Lord or the slave? The Lord. So why do you turn away from God and follow the slave? Francis left his plans of vain glory behind and started to praise the Lord in his life. <laughs> he read the Gospels and was marveled with the deeds of Christ and his apostles. Each day his love for God and the church, mystical body of Christ, grew inside him. One day, Francis met a sick man, a leper, and he carried a terrifying fear of the lepers. He felt like running. But inside his heart, he felt a great love for the poor sick man and decided to face his fear. With the grace of God and willpower, he went to find the poor man. Then a great transformation happened. What was gall became honey, and the honey, gall. He felt the sweet taste of loving, waiting nothing back, but also felt the bitter taste of wealth vanity and the illusion of achieving happiness in the world through material goods. In one of his walks, he found a church in ruins and spent a lot of time praying there. Then one day, something amazing happened. While being in prayer in front of the crucified Christ, the image moved its lips and spoke. Francis, Francis, do you see my church in ruins? Go and restore my church.
Francis quickly ran to his father's store and got money to restore that church. His father, however, knowing that Francis was giving out money to the poor and restoring a little church in ruins, got angry and showed him his disapproval. He did not understand the greatness in his son's heart, who tried to be totally obedient to God. Oh, oh you little. How many times I have to tell you? Francis, full of peace and joy, surprised his father, giving him back all his belongings. Singing and praising God, Francis restored the little church, begging and collecting stones. Just then, he realized that we are the living stones in the Church of Christ, and we were the ones that needed to be restored and get back into the life of holiness. And so began his journey. Preaching the gospel, many followed his example. He was always cheerful and thankful to God for all the creation and treated each and everyone like they were his brothers and sisters. Since he was a little boy, St. Francis was aware God's love was everywhere of that, through grace and for the glory of God, who lives and reigns for the centuries of centuries. Amen. St. Francis of Assisi, pray for us.